right, so today we're pruning. And I wanted to kind of bring you guys along with me pruning my flowers. So, I'm gonna be pruning all of this back. Overgrown more than I would have liked. And it does that, of course. So we're gonna prune it back. And I'm gonna prune that back. I'm also going to prune this one by the door. Okay, so this is some vink, um, vincas that I have by my door, aka periwinkles. And I like the little um, pink bouquet of flowers. So I'm going to prune them back because as you can see, they're starting to fall over and they don't look as cute as they were. And also, by pruning it down, it helps it to push out better and it to be stronger and more stable and also keep the look that I desire. So, um, let me show you kind of a little close. Like this is just one plant that's in the crack. How did I do that? Um, some of the seeds from a periwinkle plant that I had here before fell down in the crack. And so what I decided to do was experiment with um, um, something that I saw an Asian lady growing um, like, uh, cabbage um her, her where the area where she was growing it it was cement and um let me take this out of here and um it was just like a a small area in the cement and they were growing really big so i say you know what maybe we can do that with some flowers and so uh you can definitely do it this, this has been like this for years now so what i'm gonna do is prune it back and you're gonna watch me do that. So, let me see here. I'm gonna prune back pretty far because for one, I don't want it to um, interfere with me coming out the door where I'm constantly hitting it. So, I'm gonna cut it back quite a bit right there. And I gotta cut at an angle, as always. So, about here is good. And I always like to think of myself as like an egg with silk hands type thing going on. I'm gonna clean up the bottom. Well, think about airflow. Okay. Take that whole piece off of there. And yes, I'm gonna cut back a lot. Don't be scared. And also, this is another reason why it's good to have flowers around because pruning flowers helps um, helps you practice pruning. And then you're not so scared to prune your plants anymore, you know? To cut to make that cut you realize how beneficial that cut is to your plant and to you so that looks good but I, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit back mess up guess what it grows back you know what I'm saying no big deal there we go so I treat my cut foliage like chop and drop and I will usually chop and drop under the same plant but be in the conditions that this is like a porch literally um, I'm going to just drop these underneath my tangerine tree in this container over here 
sprinkle it at the base. Boom. Now we're gonna clean this up. That's how we looking as we get a top angle so it's gonna grow especially out more from the bottom when it sprouts anew and it's gonna be a lot bushier and compact all right I'm start with this one just round that out a little bit so I just took a little bit off, not too much. So I still want it to stay compact. All right, so we have this seat here. All right, now I'm finna take this hedge back a lot. Let's see here. Start with the purple Mexican petunias. Show you an example of how to properly cut and prune. Okay, so this piece right here is hanging a bit lower than I would like because eventually it's just going to fall down and it's going to be causing a problem. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to prune it back. When you're pruning, you always want to cut at an angle. not straight up and down at an angle. And I wanna take this all the way back actually. Take it all the way back. Angle, snip. See that? Cut at an angle. Now let's get to it. I'm gonna do is with the pink periwinkles I'm gonna count around the bottom because I want you to be able to see both at the same time and it's kind of hard to do that when both of them kind of overgrow because one block the other so we're gonna fix that with pruning
right, we've done the pink periwinkles and it, you know, I'm around it just a little bit. want to tighten this up around the square. So to make this stuff a little bit more easier to work with, I will chop it down even further. Just breaking it into smaller pieces because I'm not going to propagate any of this so it's not necessary to kind of keep it. And it's just something you just cut it. Make it smaller pieces. Makes it easier to work with.